talk about what's upcoming here on campus as well. Ball controlled by Calvary as we are underway, game two this afternoon. Larkins with the ball for Calvary. Drives down the side of the lane, puts up the shot is no good. It's hit out of bounds by an evil player to be Calvary basketball with 10 on the shot clock. Quickly inbound and worked around. 10 footer, 15 footer, no good. The ball hit out of bounds again and it'll stay down here. Mays player got his hand trying to control the rebound, but it went off and out of bounds, so Calvary gets another shot. Way out front. Drives, stops, pops, is good by number one. Yeah, Calvary, the men play a 1-3-1 zone as well. Harper thinks about it, goes back up top. Patterson. 4-3 is no good. Marr with the rebound, he puts it back up. Yes! yes. yes. Marr with the offensive rebound on the left side, put it up through the foul, he'll go to the line, trying to complete the three-point play. Marr, senior from Maple Grove, shoots 85% and he makes it. And now Emmaus has an early 3-2. Lead. Big crowd chance defense here. Off balance shot is good. Was looking for a foul. Jonah Murr with the basket. Eagles working around this 1 3 1. Guards need to cheat in and there you go, get it into the foul line. Back out to Harper. Harper drives down the lane, puts it up with the right hand and good. Last Harper on the scoreboard. Quickly down goes Calvary. Harper comes down, gets the rebound. He stopped, needs some help. Patterson comes back. Jacob Leslie with it now. Corner three by Jacobus is no good. The ball controlled. By Larkin, who goes way up ahead. That is no good ball. I think I'll stick that in number four. Ray Thomas is hit. Patterson brings it up for Mayus. Leslie has it. Back up to Harper. Harper for three. Back iron, no good. It hits the stanchion. It's an out of bounds. It'll be Warrior basketball. Just underway, a lot of fast-paced action to get started. Eagles are up 5-4. Eagles in the man-to-man. Three-pointer from the corner is no good. Harper slips in and gets the rebound, and he'll bring it up court for Emmaus. Patterson left side, he brings it back up front. Ten on the shot clock. Leslie has it on the elbow, back out front to Patterson. He's straight on. Ball tip, three on the shot clock. Harper needs to put it up. Leans in, but it's a shot clock violation. Calvary on offense now. Ball is lost, out of bounds. Not sure who goes off of. They're pointing for Emmaus, and that's what it says. It'll be Emmaus basketball. Good defensive pressure on the sideline that time. Patterson will bring it up. Calvary extends, really extends the 1-3-1 defense into Leslie at the free throw line, back out. 
Harper has it in the corner, drives baseline, back out to Patterson. Harper, three from the corner is good. Nash Harper hits the first three-pointer this afternoon, and the Eagles have an early 8-4 lead, four minutes in. Long three on the way is no good. Matthew Hammonds was four feet beyond the arc. Eagles come down with the basketball, and they're back on offense. Harper with another three on the way is good. Nash Harper, two in a row. Two in a row for Harper from three. He has eight points. Drives, wild throw down here. It's over and back. Turnover there by Calvary. It would be Eagle basketball right in front of the uh, announcer's table here. Coming in the game, Zach Scholl goes in for Jacob Leslie. Ball tipped out of bounds, it'll stay right here. It may with a lot of three point shooters on the court right now with this 1 3 1 zone. Coming in is Tyler Casey, another three point shooter. Goes in for Quan Patterson. Also coming in is number five, Josh Stewart for Mitch Marr. Twelve on the shot clock as the Eagles inbound on the offensive end. Stewart has it. Eight on the clock. Picks up his dribble. Baseline Harper has it. Four in the shot clock. Stewart has to put it up. It's, it's way short. I think it might have been tipped, but that's a violation. Not sure if the players knew how much time was left when he took that inbounds pass on the shot clock. Anyway, it goes over to Calvary. The Eagles are up 11-4, five minutes into this first half. Drives, puts it up no good, but draws the foul. Number 14, Jonah Murr, drove the right side. Drew the foul on Stewart. Murr will go to the line to shoot two. We have no stats on any of the Calvary players. Their website didn't have anything, so we'll see what happens. And then looked like it was going in and out, but falls. Makes the first. Jonah Murr makes both free throws. Eleven <laughs> six early on. Emmaus up by five. Looking to attack that one three one. Harper has it. Find Stewart back out to Harper. 10 on the shot clock, corner three on the way by Jacobus is no good. Jacobus tries to take the ball back, but controlled by Calvary, and they come back down on the offensive end. Yeah, moving screen there, number 44 for Calvary. Thomas Barnett with the foul. Set the pick, but really slid in setting that screen and was called for the offensive foul. Stewart and Casey passing the ball back and forth. Now Harper has it on the right side. Way over to cross court pass, Jacobus has it. Back out to Harper. Tries to get inside that zone, but can't. Cross court pass. Six on the shot clock. Harper for three. Got a good look, but can't go. Cavalry player had the ball spun around the sideline. Wild shot. Goes out of bounds. Got all burrow. 
It'll stay this way. Number one, Matthew Hammonds grabbed that ball, got sort of trapped on the sideline, made it way all the way down the court. Might have been a little out of control, but there's a 30 second timeout and we will keep it right here. What's on sale at ShopRite this week, you ask? This week only at ShopRite. Stock up for the big game. Tombstone Pizzas, $3.99. Boneless Chicken Breast, $1.99. Center Cup Pork Chops, $2.49. And everybody's favorite, Turkey Hill Ice Cream, two for $5. This week at ShopRite with your Price Plus card. ShopRite and always save. The pace has slowed down a little bit after a quick start. Eagles 4-10 from the field, 2 of 8 from 3, 1 of 1 from the free throw. And Calvary 2 of 9, 0 of 2 from 3, 2 of 2 from the free throw line. Calvary will inbound the basketball underneath their own basket with 13.39 to go in the first. Eagles man to man. Calvary player drives, spins, turns, puts up the shot. Good, and he's fouled. Jonah Murr took the sp spinning move, drew to the contact, put up a soft shot that rolled around the rim. And then Stewart with his second foul, he'll take a seat having two fouls so early on in the first half. One shot for Murr who has six points, looking for his seventh here. And that's good. Murr's three for three from the line this afternoon. The Eagles up 11-9 with the basketball. They're really extending that 1-3-1 zone. They get it over. Looking to trap. Casey gets it. They reset. Marr for three is in and out no good. Calvary controls the rebound. They come down looking to tie. Full head of steam down the lane into the corner. Ten on the shot clock. Wow. Travel called. Travel on, I believe, number three, Ryan Ulix. Really, he put his head down and just tried to go right down the lane. He got the ball, went right down the side. Could have been a charge, too, but the travel is called. Moore checks in. And Patterson come back for the Bay. As Patterson now has the ball, really extending that 1-3-1, one, three, one, three-quarter courts. Trying to get a trap here. Moore has it back to Patterson. Seth Katula checked and he's surrounded. Held ball called, it'll stay this way. Gotta be careful on that one, three, one. You get into the person at the free throw line, they surrounded him, triple teamed and got a held ball. Patterson with the ball, but gives it to Marr. Ten on the shot clock. Casey up front now. Seven. Patterson has it. Gets into Seth Gertula, who hits the little eight-footer in the lane, and he's on the board. 13-9, just over 12 minutes to go in the first half. Family weekend crowd chance defense. 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 Drives, nobody, corner three on the way is no good. Good job by Moore getting the rebound. He pushes up, but his ball is hit from behind and the other, back the other way we go. Number five, Twilly tried to get by everyone. Put the left hand layup was no good and the Eagles come back this way. Petula baseline jumper is too strong rebounded 
by Murr, who brings the ball up for Calvary. Continue to work. Murr has it. Passes back off. They reset with 13 on the shot clock. Drives down the right side lane, puts up the shot, and is good by number 12. Eagles basketball. Push, I believe, on number 32, Armstrong. I think a quick substitution here by Calvary. Eagles will inbound, 11 minutes to go in the first half, 24 on the shot clock as they inbound. Patterson with it. Marr for the corner three is in and out, no good. Got a good look, just couldn't get it to fall. Drive down the lane and is fouled. That was number three, Ryan Ulrichs. Driving the left side of the lane. Mitchell Marr drew the foul. That's his first. Team's third. Rita rolls around and good. Remember Connecticut's largest discount tire dealer, Town Fair Tire. Name brand tires at discount prices. Nobody beats Town Fair, nobody. Ulrichs makes both free throws and we're tied at 13 here with just over 10 minutes to go. Really extending that 1-3-1. Finds Marr down low, puts it up and good. Good passing there, beat the zone. They extended that 1-3-1 to pass half court. Good quick passing, found Marr down low for an open layup. Spinning in the lane, stop. Steps through, draws a foul. <laughs> Coach Parker was not happy with that call. Casey was called for the foul, his first. Going to the line again is Ulrichs, who just made two, and he makes his third straight. Nash Harper comes back in. Seth Kertula takes a seat. He makes both. Calvary six for six from the free throw line and we're tied at 15. They get it across. Marr has it and they reset. Moore over to Patterson. Casey in the corner for three is good. Tyler Casey gets on the scoreboard and gives Emmaus a three point lead. Long three on the way is good by number 21. I think that was Shane Most with that one. Harper quickly down the court, gets it to Marr, ducks under and lays it up and good. Some good passing now against that defense before it gets set and has found Marr for two layups. Underneath and there's gonna be a 30 second timeout I think after the Eagles have broken that defense two times in a row. Some quick stats here this afternoon. May is 8 of 17 for 47% from the field, 3 of 11, 27% from 3, 1 of 1 from the line. Meanwhile, Calvary, 5 of 14, that's 35%. 1 of 3 from 3, and 7 of 7 from the line. Murr has 7, Most has 5, Ulix has 4. For May is Harper with 8, Marr with 7, Casey with 3, and Kurtula with two points as we have this 30 second timeout. As we mentioned, family weekend, alumni weekend, there's a big t-shirt sale in the main concourse of the Pollard Fieldhouse. 
t-shirts spanning the years from Emmaus on sale right now, $1 only. Get them while supplies last. It'll be Calvary basketball, 9.09 to go in the first half. They are down by two. Calvary works around the perimeter, drives, steps through, puts it up, soft shot goes for Shane Mose. I have to get a roster because the our public address announcer has a different person for 21, but my 21 says something different. Anyway, we'll find that out. Eagles with the basketball, tie game. Patterson for three is no good. Long rebound in the corner, fought for. I think it's going to be a tied up ball. It'll go to Calvary. Let's see if I can get a roster online for Calvary. Down the lane, puts it up. Gets a friendly roll. Matt Hammond tie, puts a... Calvary up by two, 22-20. Casey with three, hits his second three. Tyler Casey puts the Eagles back up by one. Eight minutes to go in the first. Drives down the lane, poked out. Harper tries to get it, can't get it. Into the corner for three. Air ball falls into the hands of Marr. Back the other way, Marr brings it back. Casey with it. Patterson for the wing three is too strong. Rebound goes to Calvary. Kicked out of, ball, kicked out of bounds. By Nash Harper, it'll stay this way with Calvary. <laughs> Calvary back with the basketball. Drives lane, hit out of bounds. I think a foul was called. Fouls on 22, Nash Harper. That's his first. I know I do a lot of commercials. The t-shirt sale is real here in the concourse of the Pollard Pavilion. First free throw missed by Calvary. We got a great slate of games this afternoon across the country. Right now, free throw is good. Kansas is up over Houston, 43-28 at halftime. Later today, Duke and North Carolina in Carolina and Tennessee in Kentucky, along with Iowa State. Long three-pointer by Casey is no good. Iowa State plays a big game as well, too. Three on the way, no good. Calvary controls the rebound. Steps through, puts it up, no good. Harper with the rebound. Marr thinks about it. Again, that 1-3-1 one -one zone. Into the corner for Casey. No look pass to Zach Scholl, who's in. Spins, lays it up. No good. A rebound controlled by Calvary. We're tied at 23. 6-10 to go in the first half. 16-footer. No good. Harper goes up high for the rebound, and he brings it up the court himself. Goes down the lane. Draws the contact. No call. 
He missed. Calvary comes running back the other way. Tough pass inside. Can't get the go. Gets the rebound. Casey has it. He brings it down the court this time. Harper gets it. Puts up the three. Back iron no good. Marr with the rebound. Shot clock goes to 20. Pass intercepted and Calvary comes the other way. Bump puts it up and no good. Foul on Casey. Twenty-one goes to the line. Shane Most. Full timeout for Emmaus. We'll keep it right here. So, Iowa State plays Baylor at 7 o'clock tonight. Two ranked teams going at it. Tennessee, number five, at Kentucky, number 10 at 7.30. As I said, number seven, Duke, at number three, North Carolina, at 5.30. Earlier today, Virginia beat Clemson 66-55. Marquette blew out Georgetown 91-57. UConn, who's number one, and we hate them. They beat St. John 77-64. If you know who are UConn's two losses, call in 877-337-6666. You know who they've lost to this season. We'll have a special coffee bean gift certificate for that caller. Teams make their way back onto the court. Twenty-one makes the shot first. Now on the website, it says Jason Collier, but on my sheet it says Shane Most. I'm going to go with the website since the picture matches Jason. So anyway, he leads all scores with ten points. That gives, those two free throws gives Calvary a two point lead with 5.15 to go in the first. Marr with it on the baseline, backs it out. Moore for three is no good. Calvary comes back this way. Eagle still in the man-to-man. -man. That's the walk, number 44, Thomas Barnett drove into the lane, picked up his dribble, then shuffled his feet, gets called for the traveling violation. Harper brings the ball up for Emmaus. Drives. Draws a blocking foul as he drove the right side down the baseline. Fouls on 44. Thomas Barnett for Calvary. That's his second team fourth. Inbound at the Mar. Patterson with it back up top. Cut off. Puts it up the basket. Gets his own rebound. Tries to go back up with it. No good, he gets it again, third time. Off the rim, no good, and Calvary comes down with it. Patterson with a good effort, just couldn't get it to fall from close range. 
Leads the fouls on number two. Obadiah Moore with the foul. That puts Emmaus over the limit. It'll be one and one for Barnett as he'll go to the line. 3.59 to go. Misses the first. Good rebounding position by Moore. Patterson brings it up. Calvary now to man to man. They're out of that 1 3 1 zone. Cross court pass gets picked off by Murr, goes up and lays it up and in. Pushes the lead to four for Calvary. Harper goes around. Reverse layup is good. Naz Harper underneath the basket. Nice finish there by Nash. Cuts the deficit to two. Calvary turns down low, puts it up. Too strong rebound. Put back is good. And by 32, Jalen Armstrong. He now has three points this afternoon. Calvary still in that man. Harper drives baseline, goes to put it up, can't get it. Knocked to the floor, no call. Comes down, three-pointer on the way is good by Jonah Moore. He has 12 points. That's his first three-pointer of the day. Very quickly, Calvary has a seven-point lead with 2.20 to go in the half. Moore for three is no good. Quickly down the court, puts it up, no good, but draws the foul. Going to the line will be number 10, Eric Larkins for Calvary. Foul was on Mitch Marr, his second. See if he goes out with two minutes to go here in the half, so he doesn't pick up his third. Back iron, no good. Patterson goes out, Jacobus comes in for him. Marr still on the floor with two fouls and 2.09 to go in the first half. Free throw is good. If we were tied at 23 a couple minutes ago, it's been a 10-2 run for Calvary. Emmaus got caught in a similar run at the end of the first half last night that created some distance to a very close game. Marr with the basketball, top of the arc. Goes left side, drives, puts up the floater, no good. Calvary grabs the rebound. Marr reached in, needs to be careful, he doesn't pick up his third. Quickly down the court, back, lays it up and good. Jonah Murr, and all of a sudden it's a 10 point lead for Calvary. Just over a minute and a half to go. Harper with the ball. Drives right side of the lane, puts it up. Knocked to the floor. Fans are irate on that one. Referee said all ball. Three on the way, no good. Ball controlled by Emmaus. 108 to go. Parker, Coach Parker calls out a play. I look at the replay. He did draw contact, I thought. Marr in the corner, puts up the three, is in and out, no good. Nash Harper with the rebound, puts it up, no good. Calvary with the rebound. <laughs> 20 seconds on the shot clock. Drives, lowered the shoulder, get the charging call. 40.2 to go. 10 second differential between game and shot clock here for Emmaus. They really need a basket to break this run. 12-2 run to give them a 10 point lead. For Calvary. Harper walks it across.
Back to the 1-3-1. One, one. Moore, three on the way, is in and out, no good. Moore with the rebound, puts it up, no good. Loose ball, Jacobus has it, no what. Calvary gets it, shot clock is off. Thir 10 seconds left. Loose ball, nope. Controlled by Calvary, goes out of bounds. 5.4 in the clock, it'll be Eagle basketball. Let's see if they can get it. A shot off. They're going to really extend the pressure. They don't want them to get it up the court very easily. They want to take a lot of time off if they can. The Eagles calling for some help. Gertula gets it. Back to Harper. Got a full head of steam. Lays it up. Oh, and knocked out of bounds. No, they draws the foul with 1.4. Good inbounds play. Inbounded to Seth Gertula, who is able to get it to Nash Harper, who had a full head of steam, caught the pass, drove right down to the basket and drew the foul. He'll go to the line to shoot two right before halftime here. Harper Jr. from Cedar Rapids at the line. Banks in the first. Nash shoots 62% from the free throw line. We say the bank is open here. That bank shop brought to you by DuPaco Credit Union. See DuPaco for all your banking needs. Harper makes both. And that will do it at the half. Eagles make those two free throws to cut into an eight point deficit. They are down 35, 27 at the half. We'll be back in 15 minutes. Very physical first half. Second now underway. Patterson with it, top of the arc. Starting five back on the court. Jacobus drives, stop, puts it up, and good. Landis Jacobus gets the on the score sheet with his first two. The Eagles come out in a 1 3 1 here. Drives baseline, tip pass, Patterson comes up with it. Up ahead to Marr. Marr drives, puts the leader, is no good. But draws the foul, he'll go to the line to shoot two. Mitchell Marr forced the action and drew the blocking foul as he went down the court. Marr's the Eagles' best free throw shooter at 85%. He's made his only free throw so far this afternoon. A little moisture on the floor. From the first half, I had the trivia question. UConn's number one, only two losses a year. Who have the two losses been to? Well, Art in Wimberley knew that UConn has only been beaten by Kansas and my alma mater, Seton Hall University this year. Those are the two losses for Kansas, Marr makes the first. Kansas in control, up by 20, 58-38, 12 minutes to go in the second half. Second one rims out, and Calvary controls. Back to the 1-3-1 three, one zone for Mayus. Wing three on the way is in and out no good. Ball's hit out of bounds, it'll be Eagle basketball. Really, they're gonna have full court pressure they're setting up now, Calvary. Oh, they back out. Harper brings the ball up for Mayus. A lot of motion. Zach Scholl for three is in and out, no good. Loose ball, rebound controlled by Jacobus. He gets hit in the head, no call. Marr has it. Looks for Harper on the right side and it goes out of bounds. Turnover by Emmaus. First half had five turnovers for each team. That's a pretty good number. Defense! 
Drives this out, corner three is no good. Long rebound controlled by Calvary. Another three on the way is no good. This time, Marr comes away with it. He'll slow it down. Back to Patterson. Harper for three is good. Nash Harper. He's three of six from beyond the arc. He has 15 points. Cuts the deficit to two. Calvary up 35-33. Just over two minutes into this second half. May is still in that zone. Three on the way is no good. Tip back, could have had good position. Fans want an over back call, lays it up, no good. And a blocking call on Landon Jacobus, number 13 for Mayes. 44 to 33. Barnett was able to go up high and get the rebound. That's the first foul on Jacobus. Mars asking the referee to explain that one. He had position and he thought it was over the back. He's asking the ref for an explanation there. He had great position. And Barnett went over the top and was able to get the rebound. Back iron, no good. Remember, see Jake from State Farm for a new insurance quote, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Second free throw on the way is good. That's the first point of the half for Calvary. Eagles with a quick 6-1 start to this half and have cut an eight point deficit down to three. Zach Scholl has it. Wall batted his pass. Calvary comes away, they run. Foul. Going up for the shot. Zach Scholl committed the foul. That's Zach's first foul. Murr going to the line where he's three for three. First one is good. Burr makes both and he's five for five from the three from the free throw line and 16 points on the game. Lead back to five for Calvary. Harper straight on three is good. Nash Harper now with 18 points. Four seven from beyond the arc for Nash who's hot this afternoon. Big crowd chance defense right now. Good energy to start this second half this afternoon for Emmaus. In that 1-3-1 one, one zone, gets it inside, turn, stops, hits, good. Number four, White Thomas, and a quick timeout. Warriors call quick timeout after that basket set things up. They have a four point lead, 40 to 36, 16, 26 to go in a game. And right after this game, we head to the beautiful Monterey Peninsula where we bring you coverage of the Pebble Beach program. On the 17th poll, interviews with Ray Romano, Aaron Rodgers, Tony Romo, and Bill Murray following the game on the Emmaus Sports Network. Always a fun day when you're bringing coverage of the Pebble Beach Pro-Am. Great scene. They made the tournament bigger this year. It's one of those uh, juiced up events now that Live Golf has come on. This one is like a $20 million purse and only the top golfers with no cuts on hand at Pebble Beach. It'll be Eagle Basketball, they're down by four, 16, 26 to go. Man to man for Calvary right now. Defense! 
Jacobus took some steps before he put the ball on the floor. That's a turnover. Calvary with the ball and a four point lead. Ball tapped out of bounds, it'll stay this way. Bench is a little close to the sideline. The referee having them just back up their seats a little bit so there's some room to make that inbounds play. Down low, turn, draws the foul on Jacobus. Number 14, Jonah Murr got the inbound pass, came across the key, put up the shot, and was able to draw the foul. Second foul on Landon, third team foul for the Eagles this half. Murr's been perfect from the line. That's his sixth free throw. Gets the friendly bounce and the lead back to six for Calvary. Patterson with the ball now. Zach Scholl, wing three is no good. Landon Jacob is called for over the back on that rebound attempt. That's his third foul. He'll take a seed right now as Tyler Casey comes in for Landon. Calvary with the basketball. Murr with it, drives the lane. Got a foul called on the pass. I think the foul's on Mitchell Marr. His third. I think they're gonna sub for him in a minute too. As Obadiah Moore goes to the scores table. Drives down the lane, puts it up and good. Uh, Collier with a one run hander on that one. Puts the lead back up to eight. That's where we started the half. Eagles got off quick, but now Calvary's come back. They're up 44-36 with 15 minutes to go. Harper thinks about it. Drives. Loose ball, he gets it. Now Calvary comes up with it. They look to run. Eagles try and get back. Number four. White Thomas able to draw contact and the foul. He'll go to long. Fouls on Scholl, that's his second. Going to the line is number four, White Thomas. He has two points this afternoon and has yet to take a free throw. First one is good. Remember, you want to wear the same gear that the players wear. Head to shop.emmaus.edu for all your Emmaus branded gear. That's shop.emmaus.edu. In and out, no good. Rebounded by number 11, Tyler Casey. Eagles are down by nine now all of a sudden after cutting it to two. Patterson with it in the lane, stops, puts it up with the left hand, can't get it to go. Quickly comes Calvary, puts it up and good by number five. Twi Twiley, that's his first two points. Now they have their largest lead of the game, 11, 47-36. Eagles want a timeout. And will stay right here, it's a full time out here at the Pollard Fieldhouse. Just give you some stats so far. Emmaus came out with a strong start to this second half, cut it to two, but now it's ballooned to 11 point lead for Calvary. 
May is 13 of 42 for 31 percent. Six of 24 from three, four, five from the line. Calvary 14 of 34, 41 percent. Two of 11 from three, but they are 17 of 22 from the line for 77 percent. They have outscored Emmaus by 13 points at the free throw line. Eight turnovers for Emmaus, five for Calvary. Rebounds, 23 for Calvary, 20 for Emmaus. Pretty even. Again, leading scores, Harper with 18. Marr with eight. Casey with six. Jacobus and Catula with two. Murr with 18. Collier with 11. Hammond, Jurix, White, Thomas, Armstrong, Twiley, and Larkins also on the score sheet for Calvary. Both teams make their way back onto the court. It'll be Eagles inbounding, 20 seconds on the shot clock. Harper has it. Drives lane, steps through, tries to make a pass, and it's turned over. Calvary comes away with it. Quick pass down the lane. Number 22 goes up with it. Draws the foul. He'll go to line issue shoot two. Foul is on. Foul on Tyler Casey. That's his third foul. Team seventh already for Emmaus. Free throws no good. 14 minutes to go and Calvary will be in the bonus the rest of the game. Makes the second. And it's a 12 point deficit for Emmaus. Casey with it. Work it around. Casey drives, puts up the floater, no good. Gets his own rebound. 20 seconds on the shot clock. They reset. Harper has it up top. Left handed drive down the lane, steps through. Blocking foul is called. Harper will go to the line to shoot two free throws. The junior from Cedar Rapids will get two after drawing the foul. Nash shoots 63% from the line. First one is good for Harper. He's three for three from the line this afternoon. Harper makes both. That gives him 20 points this afternoon. Eagles down by 10, needs some defensive stops. They're in that 1-3-1 one, one zone again. They work it around a perimeter, does. 10 on the shot clock, drive, kick out for the three, is, is no good. Rebounded by Harper for the Eagles. He brings it up court. Drives right side of the lane, lays it up, too strong, rebounded by Calvary. End to end, no good. They get their own rebound, and they reset. Little out of control right now, and they turn the ball over. Collier really drove with a lot of speed, lost control of the ball, went out of bounds. It'll be Emmaus basketball. On the court, Casey, Patterson, Moore, Kertula, and Harper for the Eagles. Harper now has it. 
backs it out, thinks about the three, down low to Cartula, grabs a turn, puts up the shot, no good, gets his own rebound but loses it, and Calvary comes away. Might have taken some steps. Anyway, loses control of the ball. But Calvary comes up with it, goes down the lane again. In and out, no good. Harper with the rebound. Harper with seven rebounds this afternoon. Casey with the three is no good. Goes out of bounds, it'll stay this way. Third team foul for Calgary with 12 minutes to go here in the game. Harper will inbound underneath their own basket. Out to Patterson, in the corner for Moore, who puts up the three, is good, Obadiah Moore. That's his first three points of the game. Cuts the deficit to seven. Fans chant defense. Three in the lane for the easy layup is number 32, Armstrong. Back to the 1-3-1 one, one for Calvary. Eagles trying to pinch in a little bit. Patterson comes around. Moore in the corner again for three is good. Over Dia Moore. Two straight th threes and has cut the deficit to six with just over 11 minutes to go. Loose ball, controlled by Patterson and he gets the timeout call. Patterson deflected the ball, gained control for a moment to call timeout. So Eagles can retain possession. This is a, this is a 30 second timeout. We'll keep it right here. Eagles on a little run. They, they were down by 11 and cut the deficit to six here with just under 11 minutes to go. And now you got the Super Bowl coming up. Stock up. For all your big game food needs at ShopRite this week, Tombstone Pizza, pizza $3.99. Get your party platters, subs, sliders, shrimp, wings, all at ShopRite this week. Now you notice in these ads, we have to say big game, because if you don't pay the sponsorship money, you can't say Super Bowl, even though we know it all what big game means, and we have basically made the Super Bowl a national holiday in this country, we still can't say Happy Super Bowl to everybody, unless we are sponsoring it. Anyway, Eagles with the basketball down by six. Casey with it now. Drives, little floater is no good. Gets his own rebound, puts it back up, is blocked, but he draws the foul. Tyler Casey with a big effort that time. Drove the lane, put up the floater, grabbed his own rebound, got the re uh, went back up and drew the foul. Casey just been to the line 10 times this year, but he's eight of 10 from the line. First one is no good. First, second one finds its way in. Now 50 to 45 with 10 and a half minutes to go in the game. The Eagles back it at 1-3-1, one, one. fans hit defense. Straight on three. Front rim no good, they get their own rebound, put it back up and no good. Seth Gertula with the rebound, looks for an outlet. Harper has it right side. Eagles reset on offense. Harper still with it out front. Goes down the right side, puts up a three, gets blocked. Gertula grabs it in the corner though, 10 seconds left. 
Foul is called. On Cotulli, he had it in the corner, was trapped. Armstrong with the foul, said he went in this, uh, didn't keep a vertical. Shot clock will go back to 20. And Emmaus will unbound underneath their own basket. Casey with the drives right side, out to Patterson. Harper looks to reset with 12 on the shot clock. Drives down the lane, is hit, it goes out of bounds, it'll stay this way with 10 on the shot clock. Inbound to Cretula, over to Moore. Five on the shot clock, Patterson a long way away, drives, slices through, puts it up, can't get it to fall. Quickly the other way is Calvary. And May is back to man to man. Wild shot is no good. Controlled by Emmaus. Casey brings it up the right side. Harper had it, thought about the three, backs it out. Drives down the lane, lays it up too strong. Quickly the other way comes Calvary, draws the contact and good. Jonah Murr drove the right side of the lane. Drew the foul, made the basket, he'll go to the line. Looking to complete the three point play. Tyler Casey called for the foul. That's his fourth foul. Adam from Hastings reminds us that Casey has four fouls. Murr goes line, he's seven for seven from the free throw line this afternoon. He has 20 points, looking for his 21st on its way, and he doesn't go through. First miss of the line for him this afternoon. Eagles down by seven with the basketball. Harper puts up the three, back iron no good, Calvary with the rebound. Bad pass goes out of bounds, it'll be Eagle basketball. It's been an even second half. Mace has outscored Calvary 18-17. They need to do a lot more than that to cut into the deficit. They, it was 11 points at one point, they got it down to five. It's back to seven. Harper with the ball out front. Charge called on Jacobus. Calvary players fighting through the pick and they hooked arms and the foul went on Jacobus. That's his fourth foul of the game too. Calvary with it, drives through the lane. Harper with a nice bas nice play, hit the basketball away on defense. He has it coming back. Moore with it, thinks about the three, and he draws the foul. 16 foul for Calvary. And Mace will get it out of bounds here on the sideline. Jacobus goes out with four. Mars back on the court. Casey now with the ball. Mar with it. 10 on the shot clock, he drives left side, stops, puts up the right hand, rolls all the way around and out. Can't buy a break on that one. Warriors come back this way on offense. Loses control of the ball. Loose ball picked up by Emmaus, and they come back the other way. Harper finds Casey on the wing for three, is good! Tyler Casey with the three. 
Now just a four point deficit, 52-48, 7.15 to go in the game. That play started on the defensive end. The Eagles came up with a loose ball and then found more for the open three. Oh, I'm sorry, Casey that was. Seven on the shot clock. Murr with the ball, long three on the way is in and out, no good. High rebound controlled by Nash Harper. Gets it over to Casey. And a reach in foul. That's number seven, and Casey will go to the line to shoot one and one. That's Twiley's second foul. Mays has done pretty well. They were in the bonus with 14 minutes to go. They completed seven fouls. I don't believe that uh, Calvary went to the line shooting one on one too many times. Anyway, makes the first, Casey. He'll get the second. Looking to cut it back to a two point deficit after being down by 11. No good. Calvary comes down with the basketball. They're up by three with 6.40 to go in the game. I think a hold was called. Armstrong with the foul to be Eagle basketball. The uh, Calvary coach is on the court looking for an explanation. I'm, and time out as the uh, Calvary courts came way out looking for an explanation and a timeout. Anyway, we'll keep it right here. Full timeout by Calvary. All right, some scoring update. Harper with 20 for Amaze. Casey now with 11. Marr with eight. Moore with six. Jacobus and Cartula with two each. I know we got the Super Bowl coming up. Big watch party here on campus, sponsored by the student government. They'll have my famous Super Bowl party game sheet with them. No football knowledge needed for this. All can participate. 20 questions such as, what will the Gatorade color be that stumped at the end of the game? Who will be the first team to score? Will it be heads or tails? Will Reba sing? The national anthem in under a minute and 30 seconds. And my favorite, will Travis Kelsey propose on the field after the game to Taylor Swift? CBS can only pray that that happens. Having 200, 300 million people tuning in to see that proposal. Anyway, get my party pick sheet this week available on campus and ready for your watch party next Sunday. Eagles with the basketball down by three, 6.36 to go. They put some pressure on, ball inbounded to Moore. Moore goes right side, gives it to Harper. Moore with it, long three is short. Rebound controlled by Eels for Emmaus. Shot clock goes back to 20, Harper with it. 10 on the clock, Casey now with it, seven. Mars gonna have to put up a shot, five. Drives the lane, puts up the floater, is partially blocked. Goes out of bounds. Calvary player touched it and went out of bounds. They were looking for a shot clock violation and I think they have a case here that the ball never touched the win, ball never touched the rim and did it really change possession? Refs are talking about this. It was blocked, it touched a Calvary player, but he bounced it right on the line. It went out of bounds. Refs 
ref said he gains possession because he did dribble it on the end line. Anyways, Eagle basketball looking to inbound. Can't get his turned over and it goes the other way. Eagles need to be more cautious with their offensive possessions than that. Collier drives, stops, puts up the shot is short, and Casey comes down with it. Casey with the no-look pass, doesn't go, tries to get the ball back. A lot of hand checking going on that trip down the court. Calvary comes back, they're in a little scoring drought as well. Drives, fouls out before the shot. It'll be two shots as now Emmaus has reached a 10 foul limit. It'll be double bonus rest of the way for Calvary. White Thomas at the line. Makes the first. That's his fourth point this afternoon. Landon Jacobus checks back in with four fouls for Emmaus with 5.18 to go. Tyler Casey has, uh, I think, blood on his arm. He's got to go out and get that taken care of. So he goes out. He'll see the trainer. Zach Scholl comes back in for Emmaus. Obadiah Moore ready to come in. I think there's some confusion on who the substitutions were supposed to be here. Mar goes out, Moore comes in for him. On the court for Emmaus, Moore, Eels, Scholl, Harper, and Jacobus. Makes both. Five point deficit for Emmaus, five, 10 to go. Harper with it, drives left side. By no eels for three is no good. Calvary controls and they reset. They're up by five, five minutes to go. The Eagles need a stop, this time down the court. Jacobus gets him to pick up the dribble. Down the right side of the lane, puts it up and good. Nice little floater there by Armstrong and pushes the lead back to seven with 4.34 to go here in the game. Fouls on number four, Dwight Thomas. Jacobus took a hard hit. He'll go to the line to shoot one and one. As we mentioned, Landon's only a 59% free throw shooter. First one, at least ones and ones are big when you're trying to come back from the deficit. Back iron no good, and Calvary gets it. Big miss that time down the court. Eagles in man to man. Turn shot is no good. Zach Scholl tips it, and now Harper has it for Mayus. Another foul called on number five. Twiley. Double bonus now for Mayus as Jacobus goes back to the line with 3.57 to go. Big free throws as we mentioned. First one finds its way over the front of the rim and is good. Mar comes in for Noah Eels. That was Jacobus' third point. He's looking for point number four. Crowd is quiet. Back rim, front rim, back rim, off. One or two that time. Defense! 
Eagles need to stop. Fans chant defense here. 3.45 to go in the game. Calvary up by six. Six on the shot clock. Murr, long way far. Throws up a three. No good. They get their own rebound. They put it back up and good. That was a good defense, but they got the rebound. Now the lead's eight with 3.20 to go. Harper with the ball. Finds Zach Scholl. Harper straight on three is no good. Rebound controlled by Calvary and the Calvary play was fouled getting that rebound. Full time out for Calvary. They'll be going to the line to shoot free throws and they're up by eight with three minutes to go. Calvary 18 of 49, 36% from the field. Only two of 15 from three, but they are 20 of 27 from the free throw line. And May is 16 of 60 for 26% from the field. Nine of 33, 27% from three. Nine of 14 from the free throw line. They missed a lot of free throws here down the stretch. They could have easily made three more and had cut into this deficit. 10 turnovers for May is only nine for Calvary. Again, we got the Super Bowl coming up in eight days. As I said earlier, I like the Chiefs. I think defense wins this games. I'm not picking against the Chiefs and Mahomes until I see them lose. They get in these big games, they never make a mistake. And then that leads to wins, and I think they can force some mistakes out of the 49ers who played well enough to win but didn't look great against the Lions last week. Again, remember Discover Mayus Weekend. That's March 21st to the 23rd. Discover Mayus Weekend here on campus featuring Shane and Shane doing a live performance. That weekend, see website for details. That's March 21st. Calvary basketball, no free throws being shot. Calvary up by eight with three minutes to go. Eagles into man-to-man. -man. Drives, dishes out. 10 on the shot clock. In the lane with the floater is no good. Harper with the rebound, and he is knocked to the ground. Harper will go to the line to shoot two. Fifth foul. Oh, no. Foul on number five, his fourth. Harper needs to make these two to cut into the deficit while the clock is stopped. First one is good. Harper five for five from the free throw line today. He shoots 62, so this is a good day at the line for Nash. Harper gets the roll and makes both. The deficit is six with 2.39 to go. Need a defensive stop here this time. Comes along the left side. Collier with it. Drives down the lane, stop, puts it up, and good. Good move there by Jason Collier. Back up to eight points, which is over two minutes to go. Harper. Baseline jumper is no good, and Calvary comes away with it. See if they run some clock here. No, they're going right down the lane. Goes out of bounds. It'll stay right here. Calvary's up by eight with two minutes to go. I thought they might be a little slower with that, but took a shot 
only six seconds into that shot clock. They inbound it. Now I think they're gonna stop a little bit. Now they pass around the perimeter. 18 footer is no good. Harper with, tries to get the rebound, he's pushed down. Fresh 20 as Calvary backs it out. Drives, stops, 16 footer is good. That gives Calvary a 10 point lead with a minute and a half to go. That should pretty much seal it for Calvary here this afternoon. Zach Scholl for three is no good. Calvary comes down with the rebound and Jacobus commits his fifth foul. Landon fouls out with three points this afternoon. A full time Full timeout for Mayus. Good effort by them this afternoon, but they're gonna come up a little bit short. Missed free throws hurt them again. Turnover is always an issue. Uh, leading scores for Calvary, Murr with 20, Collier with 13, Armstrong with 10, White Thomas with seven, Hammonds with four, Ryan Ulix with four, Twilly with two, Larkins with one, and Barnett with one. For Mayus Harper with 22, Tyler Casey with 11, Mitchell Marr with eight, Obadiah Moore with six, Jacobus with three, Seth Kertula, with two points this afternoon for your Mayus Eagles. Remember the coffee bean will be open after campus, open on campus after the game. Coffee bean located in the basement of the lower commons of Emmaus. Have your frappuccino, your mochaccino, your cappuccino, anything you want at the coffee bean after the game here at this family and alumni weekend. Had a nice ceremony between games. It was senior day here on campus. Honored the seniors from both the men's and the women's team between games this afternoon. Armstrong goes to the line. He's two of five from the free throw line this afternoon. Makes the first. Eagles head out on the road for about 10 days. We won't be back till I think the 15th of February for the next home game here on the Eagles Sports Network. So that's uh, I think Thursday the 15th. We'll have a double header back here on campus. You can tune in then. Tyler Casey with the three. 105 to go, Eagles down by nine after that three-pointer. Ball turned over, Obadiah Moore with it, tries to go up ahead, lays it up and good. Five quick points and it's a seven-point game. Harper fouls and stops the clock with 50.3. Five quick points, a three, a steal, and a two. Has made it a seven-point game with 50.3 to go. Collier goes to the lane. He's two for two this afternoon. First one is front rim, back rim, backboard good. Makes both. Another timeout. Another time out for Calvary. I'm running out of things to cover here. And that always happens at the end of the game. A lot of timeouts. Anyway, just a review of last week's championship weekend. I was rooting for the Lions. Who doesn't want to see the Lions? Never been to a Super Bowl. They played well. But unfortunately, Coach Campbell 
wilted a little bit under the pressure. I know they go for, for fourth down all the time, but after the Lions had that 17-point lead and then held the Niners to a field goal to start that second half, they should have taken the three points and the field goal to be up by 17. Then there were some bad breaks. I know they happen. Pass goes off a defender's helmet. The Niner guy catches it. Next play, they're in for a touchdown. That was a backbreaker. Then they had a third down play where it hit the Lion guy right in the chest and he dropped the ball, would have given him a first down and they weren't able to convert on fourth. Anyway, tough break for the Lions. It's hard to get back to that same point next year when you're the underdog team. That's a long way to get back to a championship game where you're up by 17 points for Detroit. But we'll see what happens to them next year. Anyway. One more, uh, that, that was it, they're up by nine. Calgary up by nine, 50.3. Full court pressure here as Emmaus will inbound. Ball in Brown to Casey, comes up the left side, gets it back to midcourt. Hands it off to Marr, Marr drives, puts it up, can't get it to go. Moore with the rebound, put back no good, and Calvary grabs the rebound, that'll do it. They're up by nine with 30 seconds to go. Ball goes out of bounds, it'll stay Calvary basketball. Thirty-five on the game, twenty-seven on the shot clock. Reach in foul by Casey. It'll be two free throws for Calvary. Well, it's been a good afternoon here at the Pollard Field House. Unfortunately. Both the men's and women's team will come up short this afternoon. As I mentioned, February 15th for the next home games, those will be, I believe, a 5 o'clock and a 7 o'clock start that day. The Eagles with the basketball, three on the way. Fans thought there might have been a foul. Calvary gets the rebound. 20 seconds, shot clock off. Long pass ahead, they back it out. 68, 50 second, Cavalry just hold the ball. Ball goes out of bounds, it'll be Eagle basketball with 2.4 to go in the game. the game. 